Hello and welcome to another Hype Pro and Xcode tutorial. The goal for this lesson is to create a very simple game in Hype Pro 3.5 and then wrap it up in Apple's new programming language, Swift, so that you can then make a native application for the iPhone or iPad. In my last tutorial, I just focused on taking a hype generated HTML5 file and with Xcode 6.2 wrapped it all up in Objective C. I wanted to expand a bit in this tutorial and show you how to work a little bit deeper in Hype Pro by making a very simple game that will teach you some of the basic features of Hype Pro 3.5. We are going to go over scene creation, actions, physics, and using basic hype elements to create some fun illustrations. At the end of the project, we will wrap it all up with a video on importing your HTML5 file into Xcode and then learn a little bit about Swift 2.2. Before we dive in, let me go over our core project so you can get a feel for what we are going to create. First, let me launch the game using the Preview button in Hype. The name of our game is called Sanitize, and the story behind the game is that uh, one-eyed germs or cyclops germs have invaded your iPhone screen, and you need to get rid of them in order to keep your screen clean. So what we're going to do is um, uh, turn this idea into a very easy tapping game. First let's go past the title screen and you'll come up with a screen that tells you how to play. And the object of the game is to wipe out the evil germs one at a time. Each screen will present a target for you to destroy. If you tap on the pink germ you will move on to the next level. If not you become an infected pile of toxic waste. <laughs> Good luck. Let's click on the button to let's play. First, I'm going to go ahead and click on a wrong Cyclops germ, and it shows you that you have been toxified. So we can go ahead and play again, and then let's go to the pink one. That's our target. Great job. This iPhone is clean. This is, as you can see, a very simple tapping game, and you can expand on it quite a bit. But the whole goal is to let you get a feel for Hype Professional 3.5, how to use all the tools, um, physics, actions, and like I said, even drawing your own illustrations in Hype without using a secondary illustration tool. So, without further ado, let's get started on our Hype Pro and Xcode tutorial. <laughs> 